Hey everybody, Lucky Luckitude here, and welcome to Luckitude Expects, a new series on my channel where I share my thoughts, feelings, and things I expect on future Nintendo games. So, enjoy the video. Yoshi's Crafted World. Man, am I excited for this game to come out. So it's September 13th, 2018, Nintendo streamed another E3 stream, presenting new coming games mostly on the Switch and a few ports to 3DS. But most of all, out of all the Switch games that caught my eye, only three games was I excited for. Obviously Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but the other games that caught my eye were Yoshi's Crafted World and Luigi's Mansion 3. Damn, did this game look exciting. I already played Yoshi's Woolly World and it was a blast, but this game took some details from Yoshi's Woolly World and past Yoshi games and took it to the extreme. Let's see what I have to say about the game with the information we have, and like it to start. So first of all, the main seller of this game, it's this backwards course feature. You are now able to play courses backwards with a friend or solo. It isn't sure how you're able to play backwards, but I'm guessing that you need to first complete the level, and when you click on the level there will be an option saying play or play backwards. So then the player will just know what they want to play on. But I think there are certain missions to do, like playing backwards as you see on the screen. They are collecting Poochie Pups, so like collect the Poochie Pups, or beat the level under 40 seconds, and other types of certain missions. I feel like that's the only bad thing about playing courses backwards, since we really won't be able to explore, but maybe I'm wrong? Anyways, let's get into our next topic. I feel like this type of world menu isn't as fun as it was in Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U. Just because you can't roam the area, just like in Super Mario 3D World, and I thought it was cool adding it to Woolly World, but now they just removed it from Crafted World, I'm surprised because the Switch is able to handle this something unique and cool. But to be honest, I have a prediction that might go against my statement. I feel like this is actually a level menu with many worlds to take different paths to each boss fight of each world. I'm assuming that that because this is one huge island and there are more islands to explore. Why? Because if you haven't noticed, this island has paths that look like it might be connected with other islands. Also, this island is shaped like a fish, which maybe means that other islands are shaped in certain animals. Maybe? I don't know. I may be wrong, guys. Anyways, now let's, talk, let's go into topic two. Now, level results are something you should aim for if you're wanting to get 100% in this game. In this game, you're supposed to collect 7 flowers, and that including the 3 extra flowers that are bonus. To be honest, I think this gives the player, you know, more enthusiasm to explore the level, just because in the old Yoshi games, you're supposed to collect 5, which was already a bit challenging, but now 7? But remember, this gives the player a little bit more enthusiasm to explore the level and appreciate what the developers made of this game. Like I said before, there are now 3 extra bonus flowers you can get, and this is how you get them. One collecting 100 coins. 2. Survive with full HP, which is 20 health. 3. Collect Yoshi coins. Now the third one I'm assuming is called Yoshi coins because it is a bronze-like coin and you need to collect 20 of them throughout the whole level. This is like stamps you collect in Yoshi's Woolly World. Honestly though, the level results are the key to 100%. Now with topic number 3. Damn, am I expecting great level designs. Not only you're able to go backwards, but also flip certain walls, pipes, and even turn around to the other side of the course. Imagine what they could do with this. Remember in Super Mario World and Bowser's Castle, there were different doors leading to certain rooms? It was like a maze. Imagine they can recreate that, but put the flip mechanic in. Not only that, they also have a switch mechanic where you're able to switch your room upside down or sideways. Honestly, this is my this is personally my favorite new mechanic added into the game just because of all the possibilities for amazing level designs. Like imagine a level where you're in a mini town and trying to find your way out, but the exit is upside down. With well, this feature will just save the day and make you complete the level. So many possibility possibility possibilities. <laughs> for these level designs. Nintendo better not disappoint us. Now to topic number four, eggs. 
So the eggs in this game are the same eggs from the previous game, but they add a little small features to them that make them different from each other. So the first egg is just the green egg. Obviously, your basic egg, you can throw it at enemies, you can hit walls to find secrets and more. The second egg, which is the yellow egg. This egg gives you coins every time you hit an enemy. It gives you around 3 coins, but if you have the 3 of these, in total you'll get 9 coins. Isn't that cool? Now the third egg is probably my second favorite and most useful egg in my opinion. Because when you hit an enemy, it gives you 3 extra eggs. So say if you have 1 egg left, and that 1 egg left is a blue egg. You hit an enemy and you get 3 extra eggs. That is just so OP guys. And just imagine you have a full egg party of just blue eggs. Anyways, the fourth egg is personally my favorite. It's called the red egg. The red egg is my favorite just because every time you hit an enemy, it gives you 3 extra health. And I prefer this egg more than the blue egg just because you can get health. You can only get health from checkpoints and hidden question marks. This will be so useful if you have under 10 health. Anyways, into our next topic. Now, what is a Yoshi game without transformations? Yoshi has special transformations it can turn into throughout the levels. In Yoshi's Island, we got a train, car, helicopter, mole, and a submarine. In Yoshi's New Island, we got a hot air balloon, drill, minecart, helicopter, submarine, and a ski. They only added two new transformations, which are the ski and hot air balloon. The other four just work the same as Yoshi's Island's um, transformations. For Yoshi's Woolly World, we got an umbrella, motorcycle, mole, mermaid, airplane, and our one new transformation is Giant Yoshi. Like I said, for Yoshi's New Island, the other four trans- the, uh, actually, the other five transformations basically work the same as the first game Yoshi's Island's transformations. Now some new transformation ideas, maybe we can use like a tiny Yoshi, instead of destroying everything with the big Yoshi. Maybe with Tiny Yoshi, you can try to avoid everything that's trying to destroy you. Maybe like Koopas, Shy Guy Spears, like they're trying to throw it at us. Piranha Plants coming out of pipes upside down and coming from the ground. And you know, you can possibly probably make so many levels with this Tiny Yoshi. Or maybe a UFO, which Yoshi's trying to avoid getting shot by lasers or getting, or getting hit by Chemex Magic. Isn't that so cool? Or maybe some even better ideas that Nintendo can probably come up with than my ideas. Anyways, into our final topic. What is a good Yoshi game without a good boss fight? Now every single Yoshi game ends off with a good Bowser Jr. boss fight. Now I don't want to change the final boss, I really like Bowser Jr. as Yoshi's main boss. And I'm only talking about the games that Yoshi's actually have a story and not the spin-offs which are Yoshi's Cookie and Yoshi's Touch and Go. Now for the world bosses, I think they'll sort it out by the shape of the island. For example, this world boss will maybe be something related to water. Now since because the island is basically the shape of a fish. I may be wrong, but if I'm correct, not gonna lie guys, I would be a bit hyped to know I got something correct in my once in my life. <sighs> That's a big favorite. Anyways guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like and comment down below if you have any expectations for this amazing Yoshi game. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and for more Leka 2 expects coming soon in the future. But anyways guys, have a great day and Leka 2 out.